guys welcome to our channel today channel is i can't believe you have not subscribed i want to encourage you to subscribe and that is the best way in which you can support us my name is vincent this is where we get to talk matters medical in the simple language which we can always understand and kindly give us those comments down below our channel is we are taking the channel to our next the, the next level if you have not subscribed, you should be meeting, missing a lot of it. So today we are going to talk about something very special and very important. Uh, the, from our previous video on diabetes, we talked generally about diabetes. But today we are going to talk about 10 common diabetes signs in women. 10 common uh, signs of diabetes in women. That's what we are going to talk about. Guys, welcome. Uh, and these are the most common. We may have other other signs and symptoms. And if you are a diabetic patient, we want to know really how what has been your experience with the uh, diabetes. So number one is about the frequent urination. Women with diabetes experience uh, increased need to urinate, and also especially at night, what we call nocturia, uh, as a, because of the elevated level of sugars which uh, leads to excess uh, glucose in the urine. Number two is about excessive thirst, where persistent thirst, even after drinking, fluid is a common symptom of uh, diabetes. So as the body uh, tries to flush out excess uh, fluid, uh, excess sugar, through, so we have that increased uh, urination. So excessive thirst is one of the, is the, the second part of that uh, as a sign and symptom for diabetes in women. Another common uh, uh, sign which we have is about fatigue, where feelings of tiredness and fatigue come up uh, as a result of inability to properly utilize the glucose in the body for energy leading to the lack of fuel uh, for the cells. So the ATP process uh, so, uh, is affected so that uh, you get a lot of issues from that. Number four is about unexplained weight loss. You get that, uh, uh, that the lady loses a lot of weight, which is unexplained. So that uh, so despite increased appetite, the, the, you get that the patient eats a lot, but at the end of the day, we have uh, excessive uh, weight loss, which is a common symptom for diabetes in women. Another problem which comes about is about increased hunger, where you get that high blood sugar levels cause hunger. And uh, this even short, uh, even after one eye has, has eaten, so cells are unable to absorb uh, the glucose for energy leading to persistent feelings of hunger, where once one, 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 the person feels that they want to feed uh, most of the time. Number Number five is about increased, uh, we talked about, uh, number six is about blood vision, where fluctuation of blood sugars can result into the eyes having issues, leading to blood vision or difficulty in focusing, where now we have a lot of, uh, uh, where we have, which may improve with the, when we control the sugars, the vision comes up, that's how now we know that lady has diabetes. Number seven is about slow wound healing. Let's say if you cut yourself, you get a challenge of the healing of those uh, wounds, or it takes a longer time to heal. Where previously small wounds where you never like a cut or a bruises where you you experience them, now healing be, takes a longer time, or you heal with a lot of uh, difficulty. So that is another problem with uh, diabetes in women. Also, we have yeast infections, where now women with diabetes may have, may, they are prone to yeast infection, such as vaginal candidiasis, due to elevated blood, blood sugars, which provide ideal environment for the growth of uh, bacteria. So, with the frequent yeast infections, we are querying about this problem of, uh, uh, of diabetes in the ladies. Also, we have dry skin. Dry skin comes up at the end of the day, where now we have, we experience uh, because the hydration is, is uh, comes in because of the frequency of urination, 
as much as you take a lot of water you also void them out so it brings a lot of challenges at that particular point where you may experience some dehydration uh, leading to dry skin, dry skin each skin particularly on the hand feet and also the lower legs so you find like these parts are very dry that the lower feet are very dry and also the skin becomes very itchy where one gets to scratch themselves at that particular point. Number 10 is about uh, numbness or tingling where now because of what you call neuropathy and if you have not watched the video on diabetes I've talked a lot about uh, how diabetes uh, presents with the uh, eye problem with the uh, uh, nerve problem and also other the kidney problem uh, so where in the kidney we call it nephropathy where in the nerves we call it neuropathy uh, and with the eyes we call it retinopathy as signs and symptoms for that particular patient so neuropathy comes in because and that's why now you have numbness and in our previous video I talked about where one even can injure themselves or they may get a deep cut and they may not feel the pain because those nerves at that particular area are really affected with the uh, with the fluctuation of the blood glucose or sugars at that particular point so the sensation actually goes down and uh, uh, the, the hands feel it starts to feel the tinkling and also burning sensation often in the hands and also the feet at that particular point so guys it's very important especially the ladies and also the men because this this ladies also are with the men that uh, if you're experiencing it on any of these 10 symptoms I've talked about so I'm going to go very fast on, on them I talked about the frequent frequent urination where you urinate more than normal excessive thirst you are taking a lot of water and also uh, urinating a lot because and you are flushing the sugars out through that one if you are experiencing fatigue you are experiencing unexplained weight loss we are experiencing increased weight uh, increased anger where you want to feed every time and then if you have slow uh, signs of uh, healing of the wounds even the basic wounds uh, is also that should make you uh, your antennas high there is the antennas high that uh, there's a problem also yeast infections like uh, we have now increased uh, uh, frequency of uh, candaces but you know candaces query that one also dry skin where you, your skin becomes very itchy and also particularly uh, the, uh, the skin becomes uh, dry and also you have uh, some uh, particularly you are very dry on the on the palms here and also on the, the feet down there so that's that can be a very a sign for diabetes and also numbness or tinkling because of what you call neuropathy I've talked about neuropathy in uh, my, in our previous video I really explained what neuropathy means and the cardinal three signs I talked about I talked about neuropathy where the nerves are affected I talked about retinopathy where the eyes and the vision are affected and I also talked about uh, 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 talked about neuropathy, retinopathy where the eyes are affected and also where the nerves at the same time are affected on the neuropathy. So we have neuropathy, uh, retinopathy and also the third one is about the kidneys where now we talk about nephropathy also comes, uh, comes, comes in. So guys, if you're experiencing uh, any of these symptoms, it's very important that the healthcare professional gets to see you well and also pro do proper evaluation and diagnosis so because early detection and the management of diabetes are very crucial for preventing uh, complication and maintaining uh, that kind of uh, maintaining uh, maintaining the normal body function at that particular point so it is your choice uh, on how you should uh, manage yourself on this especially to start on uh, medication at that particular point so where now you get to get the trick is to get the, the, the level in which the sugars can be very normal so that you get to your daily function as appropriate 
So the management of diabetes involves uh, strategies aimed at, uh, at uh, normalizing the sugar levels so that we, get, uh, we don't get into complications and overall health of, uh, of well-being. So we have several, uh, I'm going to repeat what we talked about uh, uh, in the previous uh, video. I'm going to talk about, uh, number one, is about uh, where uh, lifestyle change is very important. Uh, or, or we can start from the health uh, eating we have all healthy diet, we are adopting a balanced diet which is rich in fruits, uh, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats can uh, help regulate the blood levels and uh, promote overall health, uh, uh, health well-being. So also very important on the healthy diet, we get to monitor the, the kind of carbohydrates which we take intake and the spacing meals as appropriate throughout the day to help maintain the blood sugars as appropriate. Number two is about regular exercises, ladies. Uh, this is about the, the ladies, uh, but this is also it touches both genders, uh, where we get regular exercise. By regular exercise, we mean brisk walking, cycling, swimming, because these are the most uh, basic things which you can, you can do as an approach so that uh, you can help improve insulin sensitivity and lower the blood levels. So that aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. So if you divide 150 for seven days, so like uh, you spend like uh, in a day, uh, that is uh, 150 divided by, by seven, like in a day you can do like, around you can do around uh, maybe more than 30 minutes of uh, the exercise so that you get to involve yourself in uh, that moderate intensity exercise per week. It, uh, it really helps the cells of the body to resolve and also work very well to respond to, uh, response to glucose in the body. Medication is also another approach. Some individuals with diabetes may require medication uh, to help maintain blood uh, sugar levels. This may include oral, oral medication. Like uh, here in Kenya, we use met metformin and also glibeclamide, among other oral glycemics. Also, insulin is introduced at a particular point if you are not, uh, so that you make uh, the body sensitive to regulation of the, of the glucose. Number four is about blood level or blood sugar level monitoring. Where regular monitoring of the blood sugars is recommended, and normally the, these patients are uh, more, they are given the machines to monitor their sugars at home, or if they are uh, at the setting of the hospital, they can be monitored in the hospital setting if they are not able to do it at home, because we have a machine called called a glucometer, which you prick yourself, and also to get the blood some the blood drop from the from the especially your finger so that you check and also report to your healthcare provider over, over the same. Also we have HB1C tests which uh, shows how your sugar has behaved in the last three months so that uh, the doctor or the healthcare provider gets to ap give approach which is very appropriate at that particular point. So those are blood sugar monitoring is also a mechanism which is put on the management of this uh, blood sugar. Also weight management, especially we talk about BMI, if your BMI is above 25, that is now overweight, if it's above 30, we go for obesity, uh, so, and also we have people go even up to 40, above 40 for BMI, uh, that's uh, super overweight, and uh, this predisposes you to a lot of these uh, kind of problems. So at that particular point, we encourage you to take a uh, to uh, when with the BMI and the weight management, we get to you going to prevent the complications of uh, diabetes and and, it is, and it make your cells, all the blood cells, to be sensitive to glucose regression, and also uh, to help your pancreas, which produces the insulin, to really help in that. So this main uh, and this uh, weight management involves it involves the diet exercise. Behavioral strategies management and also 
support weight which support weight loss and also maintenance. Stress management is also very important where chronic stress can affect uh, blood level sugars and also affect your blood health or overall health of your body. So it is essential to incorporate stress reduction uh, techniques such as mindfulness, deep breathing, uh, yoga and also meditation into daily life. So this also gets to help your body and also gets it you to health levels. So stress management is an aspect which is very important and if you see now the approaches which we are giving to these chronic illnesses, especially diabetes, we are not involving only the drugs, we are involving other aspects like exercise, stress management and also this blood sugar monitoring to help you get the optimum which is needed in your body. So regular medical care is very important. We are regular visits to healthcare providers and uh, from my previous video, I mentioned how many we are very poor with uh, uh, with sick health seeking behavior. So, ladies, with your health, good health seeking behavior, we, you cannot get yourself into complications of diabetes. So, this includes you see you are physician, you can see you are endocrinologist, 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 so that uh, they can check and also. Diabetes educators, they can also help you, and they say which can they can monitor your blood uh, levels of sugar so that you get to manage yourself as appropriate and as needed. Also, uh, we have uh, foot care. Foot care is very important at that particular point. Well, people with diabetes are because I mentioned there are increased risk of foot complications because of the what we call neuropathy or nerve damage and the poor circulation. So practicing good foot hygiene is very important. Wearing comfortable shoes is very important the ladies and then inspecting the, the your feet regularly uh, to find for cuts, sores or signs of infection so that we can prevent uh, other problems with your foot. Number nine is about what uh, other people don't like, is about cessation or stopping uh, smoking. Because smoking work can worsen diabetes complications and uh, increase risk, the risk of cardiovascular diseases. So quitting smoking is very essential for overall health and can help improve blood sugar and control, and control the risk of uh, complications. Number ten is about education and also support where uh, diabetes self-management and support programs on providing individuals with knowledge, skills and also resources they need to effectively manage uh, their condition so that they can make uh, uh, health lifestyle choices and this program they include uh, nutritional counseling, exercise guidance and also medication management and emotional support. So these things are integrated, we are talking about nutritional counseling, we are talking about exercise guidance, we are talking about medication management and also emotional support to help you to, uh, to get to the best, uh, to, 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 approach, to get to the optimum need of your body so that you can manage this uh, diabetes well. In summary, management of di uh, diabetes is multi multifaced and also a multi-faced approach aimed at controlling the blood sugars, preventing complications and promoting overall health and well-being. So uh, it's very important that uh, these things are, are really looked at because you are not looking at only managing the blood sugar levels, you want to prevent the complications. And I want to talk about the, the most common complications I can mention here is about retinopathy where you have vision problems, we have neuropathy, where your nerves and the sensation really uh, gets lost. Uh, you can't feel even if you somebody cuts you or you injure yourself, you can't feel it. And also uh, uh, nephropathy, where now your kidneys also can be compromised at that particular point. And at the end of the day, you have organ failure as a result. So very important, key components of diabetes management it includes adopting a healthy diet, engaging in regular physical activity, monitoring the blood sugars, 
and also taking medication as prescribed guys medication as prescribed is very important and also managing stress very important this way i have mentioned about yoga and also meditation so very important these are very important things and self evaluation things so that you get to internalize this kind of issues weight management is very important you, that you may, it's very important that we may get to maintain ladies we get, get to maintain healthy body weight but body weight we are now receiving regular medical medical care it is good to go for a medical checkup in my previous previous video i mentioned about how people have insurances which they never get to use i think uh, those people get to, to use a package which is for barrier expense more than the healthy upkeep so very important go for your health checkup most of the insurances allow that you go once a year to for a, med a complete medical checkup guys i want to remind you this have you gone this year for your medical checkup very important that you go and see your healthcare provider as appropriate even if you are feeling well very important ladies you go for your check your annual checkup and this is where we also we do not only check on the diabetes we also check on the cervical problem cervical screening and also your breast screening so that we get to prevent the we get to approach and prevent the diseases like cancer which may be in their formative area stage so that the your healthcare provider can give you that healthy uh, clean bill at that particular point so by incorporating uh, the these things like well, food good food care quitting smoking and uh, access, accessing education and support services so like healthcare providers very important that you get to educate our our population about uh, uh, about diabetes how to prevent it how to take care of yourself if you have it how to detect the signs and symptoms uh, such a avenue like youtube like what i'm doing is to sensitize also the larger population as a healthcare provider because this is an avenue from youtube where you can get to to reach a lot of population and also share this knowledge as appropriate so by incorporating these kind of strategies into daily life individuals with diabetes uh, can effectively manage their uh, condition and reduce the risk of complications so by doing that if you you are improving you are employing these strategies into your daily life you get to reduce the risk of complications and by that we improve the quality of life and the overall health outcomes of an individual guys welcome to our channel the channel is nasvin and kindly if you have not subscribed i want to you i want to tell you that you are missing a lot thank you for those responding to my plea that you get to watch our videos and uh, uh, record uh, and uh, like it kindly guys give uh, the video a like because that is the way you can always uh, recommend our uh, that's the way you get youtube to recommend our video to a larger viewership so that this knowledge is shared widely kindly uh, don't be selfish just uh, like the video because that is the only way youtube can recommend it to the larger population and also make our channel uh, grow especially reach the many people who can now have to click on the video and also watch and also recommend it for larger viewership guys that's vin is the channel my name is vincent and i want to welcome you to our next video peace guys and we love you very much